Free software is not free. Free software comes at the cost of the time and energy and resources of many people behind these projects. So this video is about me trying to find ways to more consistently give back to these projects that I rely so heavily on and hopefully inspire you to do the same thing. My plan is to pick three apps to concentrate on first to make a plan of contributions for myself. So here are three of my favorite free and open source applications that I use in the creative space. Number one is Blender. I've talked about Blender a whole bunch. It's an amazing 3D animation, modeling, visual effects, game development, all kinds of 3D related tool. It's been around for a very long time and it is one of the most powerful pieces of creative software in the free and open source world. Number two is Inkscape. Inkscape is probably the best competitor we have to Illustrator in the free and open source world. It is a fantastic graphic design, vector-based design program. And they keep adding features all the time. And they are very that app is very, very important to me. So they are on the list of my top three that I want to help out. Number three is Caden Live. Although I'm, re I'm relying heavily on Resolve and Lightworks as well, Caden Live is going to be crucial to this channel. And the goal is to use Caden Live more and more. So Caden Live being the best free and open source video editor out there, in my opinion, that is, that is the video editor that I'm going to concentrate on in terms of contributing to the project right now. I'm going to look at all the other ones as well and hopefully contribute to the other free and open source video editors at some point. But right now, Caden Live is the one I'm starting off with. Since we all benefit from these free and open source projects, I just really want to make sure that I'm doing my part to keep this community thriving. Even if my small contribution is that, is, is small, I want to make sure that I am contributing. I want to inspire you guys to contribute and make sure we're all doing our part to keep this community thriving, to keep Linux thriving, to keep these apps thriving. And we can support these creators and developers in many, many, many ways. Even a channel like this, I have to find different ways to uh, supplement income so I can hopefully grow the channel create more content, and eventually maybe spend more time creating this channel and my zines that I'm going to create for this channel. One way I'm going to start doing that is with a sponsor. This video is sponsored, and it's sponsored by the people at Brilliant. I didn't want to take on just any sponsor. Brilliant approached me, and I've known Brilliant for a long time, I've known of Brilliant, and it just seemed like a, a sincere fit, something that I, I, I felt fit the channel, a great learning resource. Brilliant is an excellent resource to help you level up your coding game, your math knowledge, or a whole bunch of other stuff. They have hands-on lessons and fun motivational elements to keep you on track, uh, stuff that I tend to respond to very well. I've started with the Thinking in Code course and love it so far. I, I can't wait to see how far I can take it. As a part of the sponsorship, you can try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for 30 days if you visit brilliant.org slash Linux Creative Project or scan the QR code that's on the screen. You can also click the link in the description. Along with the 30-day free trial, you will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. I don't take any sponsorship lightly, and I give this one a lot of thought, and Brilliant is a perfect match for my first sponsor for this channel. I hope you'll at least sign up for the 30-day trial if you haven't tried Brilliant yet, and kick the tires and see what you think. So I've given you the three FOSS projects that I'm going to concentrate on giving my support to right now. Here are a few of the different ways I plan on contributing to these projects. Monetary contribution contributions is number one. Obviously, monetary contributions always helps. All these projects have an easy way to donate to the, the funds that they need to keep the projects going, to pay the developers, to pay everyone that supports the app. Number two is code contributions. I probably won't do code specific contributions, but it's on the list as something that's always needed and welcome for a lot of these projects. If you are capable enough and you want to contribute in the, in the code space, I invite you to do that. That's one amazing option for some of you. Testing and feedback and writing documentation. These are things that I, I've always kind of done, but I want to do consciously and test things out, give give direct feedback on features, 
and help write some documentation and check some of the documentation for some of these apps that I know really well. Community contributions, that means helping the community in any way you can, whether it's teaching somebody one of these apps or educating them on a, a, an open source project that you like. That's one thing I want to do is can still give is give back with tutorials and tips and you know respond to comments and and help people out. Helping others use these apps helps keep the community strong. So I want to I want to do that part and making this channel and the things I'm making with this Linux Creator project it's part of that community contributions as well. The other thing that this channel does is help promote. Promotion is another huge tool. The more you promote, the more users these apps will get. So promotion is a huge contribution to these FOSS projects. So re to recap, Blender, Inkscape, and Caden Live are three projects that I'm going to start contributing to in these many ways that I listed, starting with money contributions. Any money I bring in through this channel, a portion of that will go to these three apps over the next quarter of the year. And then I'll figure out the next three apps for the second quarter. During the whole year, I will do these other things on the list, community contributions, promotions, things like that to help to help these, out, these apps out. But I invite you to do the same. Pick out one to three apps that you wanna concentrate on. If you can't give money, help the community, promote the app, give feedback, support, Find other ways to help them out. Check their websites to see what other suggestions they have besides the monetary contributions if you can't do that. So remember, free software is not free. We benefit from the hard work, resources, and, and, and hustle of all these amazing people that create these things. So I want to do my part, and I invite you to do yours. And let's keep this community thriving and strong. I appreciate every one of you guys. Thank you for allowing me to uh, do what I do here. And thank you for allowing me to have a sponsor on some of these videos. And I would love your feedback on some of the projects that you're going to support this year. Thanks again, guys. I'll talk to you soon.